And here comes Tony Schumacher. This is his 300th race weekend as a pro, and Bobby Lagana Jr. Hi, Paul Page with Mike Dunn. Mike scored his last career victory in Top Fuel right here at Atlanta Dragway, taking down Daryl Russell. You know, in all of motorsports, and in fact, all of sports, there are rivalries. Take, for example, the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees, or at the Indy 500, Roger Penske and Chip Ganassi. Here, it's Larry Dixon and Tony Schumacher, but they don't really seem to want to admit it. Well, that's when the cameras are on, Paul. But behind the scenes, trust me, there is a rivalry. These teams want to beat each other bad. Now, the focus is always win the race. But when you get to that final round, if one of the teams can take the other one out, it's just icing on the cake. That's because you look at the circumstances. Alan Johnson leads that Army team to go help form the Alan Abbey team. You've got Tony Schumacher, Don Schumacher, very competitive people. Bring Larry Dixon as a driver. Mike Green, crew chief on the Army car. Jason McCullough. These guys won want to win and they want to win big and they like nothing better than just showing the other guys the best in the class they each consider that how it's done and you saw larry dixon sitting right behind tony schumacher We're going to watch that lane carefully as schumacher goes up against bobby lagana jr it through runs a 404 and doing it it's a 392 win light for tony schumacher uh, bobby lagana just went up there and took a shot missed it by a mile almost three tenths of a second as you go on board with him schumacher though i think probably might have just kind of hesitated to tell himself and he realized and then he knew what happened he said okay let's just make a run let's keep her in the in the middle of that lane and try to get lane choice 